Come on. There's lots of misrepresentation of wolf dogs. She's very unique in a lot of ways because she's a bit of a conundrum in terms of personality. She's friendly and she's shy. She's bolshy. She loves belly rubs and hates cuddles because she's every opposite that you can think of like any other dog would do. Ooh, whoa. Where is he? Because she's stubborn and fiery and independent. She was a lot of hard work, I'm not gonna lie. Look at the state of you. I yeah, didn't know I was getting a wolf dog until her DNA results came back. But because she came from a really bad background, there was a lot of nervousness, a lot of aloofness, a lot of skittishness. And people always call them wolf dog characteristics, which they 100% are. But how much of that comes from those genes versus her background? It's just the hand that she was dealt. <laughs> it took me three and a half years of literally solid training to get her consistently off the lead. But I very much put in the work to make her comfortable. And now she'll go anywhere. So I decided to get Kaya to the beach. <laughs> Hello! The beach is a whole other ball game for Kaya. <laughs> she does what we call hunting sand flick. If you're walking along soft sand and like a little bit flicks off the end of your foot, she likes to pounce on that. She loves to dig, she loves to chase stones. It's really weird, if you take a ball to the beach, she will not chase it, not interested at all. Pick up a stone and throw it and she loves it. It's the best thing ever. But in terms of a brand new environment, she'll stay kind of within about 30 feet of me. Kaya, come here then. But now, she's my perfect adventure partner. Kaya's just entertaining herself. Are you ready? But when we're out and about, she will not switch off until we get back. <laughs> She's definitely a partner in crime. She had the biggest impact on my life. She's the reason to smile when you're feeling really sad. And I don't think that I'll ever be without a dog from this point. It's time to watch more.